Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this segment we are going to discuss about another two important properties from discrete Fourier transform. In that we will first discuss about circular shift property in frequency domain. If you remember in the previous video we have discussed about circular shift of a sequence in time domain property whose exact reverse property will be in frequency domain. So let us see what actually the statement is. So we have, if I considering that we have an input sequence x of n whose dft is x of k, then we will go for the actual statement. So there is a shift in frequency domain. So we can shift the frequency domain component k with some unit. Let's suppose the unit is going to be, it is shifted by l unit and the base with number of samples will keep it as it is. That means to the RHS we should get the term as x of k minus l to the base n. Now if it is the TFT then there will be some moderate changes occurs in the left hand side also and that is going to be our input sequence will remain as it is x of n and now it should be multiplied with exponential coefficient e raised to j to pi. Now if you see we have shifted this by L unit, so we can add it here as L n divided by capital N. So this will be the statement for circular shift in frequency domain. Now if you want to compare this with time domain, this input sequence was shifted by some unit as L and here we got the term as e raised to minus j, but as we are shifting in frequency domain, we are getting this term as e raised to plus j. So this is going to be our statement. Now. Let us come across its proof. So to prove this one, here we have to find Fourier transform of this particular sequence. We can write DFT of this entire sequence x n even this term will be as it is. It becomes equals to summation from zero to n minus one x of n this entire term will remain same into our actual term e raised to minus j 2 pi k n divided by n. This is the standard formula that we are using it here. Now by here the base is same so we can take some terms common from the power. So let us take those terms as common. So if I take e raised to minus j as comma even with 2 pi by n so we will get this term as k minus l into n see this minus k minus minus plus l both the terms we are getting in the same form so this will be the term now if you observe it carefully here what we need x of k minus l to the base n and here we are getting the term as what k minus l and if I simplify this one that we have seen already I can write the same term as x of n plus k minus n. That is nothing but adding n number of samples, adding n number of samples to the given sequence. That means here the term should come as n. That means there will be an adjustment of n. How we can now complete this? So straight away I can rewrite the same equation. This is again same x n e raised to minus j. This is 2 pi divided by n into here I am adjusting this term n plus k minus l into n. Now you may be asked me the question sir how we are adding this one. See if I multiply these two terms its result will be e raised to minus j 2 pi n divided by capital N into this small integer as n as it is. Now this n n will get cancelled and we are left with e raised to minus j 2 pi into n and we have seen this one e raised to minus j 2 pi n or any variables value will be what 1 that means we can simply add 1 in this case. So now if you observe it carefully here we got this term as n plus k minus l that means definitely this is going to be our Fourier transform that I can write x of n plus k minus l which is nothing but if I rewrite this it becomes x of k minus l to the base n and that will be our property that is called as circular shift in frequency domain. 
now we'll move on to the next property and another interesting property is there which is called as complex conjugate properties now <clears throat> as far as a signal and system or digital signal processing is considered uh, the baseline for all properties is same only the formulas are going to be changed and we are going to work only on the baseline so we have the term called as complex conjugate so the statement again we'll repeat x sharp n is any sequence whose dft is x sharp k then we have to take complex conjugate of the given sequence so i can write x complex of n's dft now if i want to know what is the complex dft of the given sequence it can be written as x complex of minus k to the base n why because if there is a sequence in a time domain or a real term is there it will not be affected when we take its fourier transform or when you take its complex conjugate but the imaginary term may get changed how see it here i will tell you with the example x plus i by this is a complex number if you take its com <coughs> complex conjugate it becomes x minus i by that means the real term will not be shuffled only the sign of imaginary term will be changed and here the same property we can use and this becomes x complex minus k to the base n now let us prove this property so for that case again we'll go for the proof and we'll directly find dft of x complex of n is equal to again we'll put the same terms 0 to n minus 1 now you can take this as x complex of n into e raised to minus j 2 pi k n by n this will be our first equation okay now here we have complex term here we have minus j sign term i can take complex as common from these two terms from these two drug terms so you can rewrite this equation this is 0 to n minus 1 x n into e raised to plus j 2 pi k n by n and it's complex over here that means when we give complex sign to these two terms we will get the original equation now if it is there just observe to the right side that what we want to prove uh, here it is x complex of what minus k to the base n now you can again rewrite the same term as x complex of n minus k that means we are simply adding n number of samples to this minus k so here in order to prove this is x complex of n minus k we have to add what n minus k that means we have to just make few changes let us see how can we make these changes i am keeping x sharp n as it is into e raised to if i write minus j 2 pi by n into we have to adjust n minus k so simply i am writing n minus k into n as it is and this whole complex will keep in the same way now observe it here when i multiply this minus this becomes minus n and this will get cancelled and again e raised to minus j 2 pi will be 1 next this minus minus becomes what plus that means original equation e raised to minus j 2 pi k n divided by n that means the entire equation is same only we have made some changes that is resulting into what sir adjustment of n minus k so definitely this will be the fourier transform of what x of n minus k and this is its whole complex so this becomes x complex of n minus k and we can rewrite the same as x complex of minus k base n so this is known as what sir complex conjugate property i hope you understood this concept thank you very much